Hey, this is Debbie at the Great Camp booth at ISTE 2018. We're at booth 1724, releasing all of our new features wrapped around ADA, AITA, our Artificial Intelligent Teaching Assistant. ADA is here to do all the heavy lift for the teachers, scoring numeric responses written by students, fill in the blanks, handwritten responses by kids. We are providing point questions where teachers can align a specific number of points to a question and easily solve that using a rubric, as well as enhancing our assignment offerings by offering observational assessments. So if you're doing something like a performance-based assessment, uh, project-based, we've got the, um, a great solution for you. So let me show you what those look like. So a teacher may create an assignment that has questions that have multi-step, there may be places where the teachers need to fill in the blank, explain why they're answering a specific way, and maybe create or draw. So here we have a student who is working on a Penguins um, assessment, and our, our traditional Great Cam Go product handled those multiple choice questions beautifully. Our artificial intelligence with handwritten numeric responses scored this for the teacher. The teacher does not have to grade those numeric responses and the fill in the blanks. Anything up to 30 characters, grade cams, ADA will handle all that processing. These types of questions here where we have a extended response or where we're needing students to create or write, we're gonna capture those images. So once inside the application, the teacher can then um, just store those two rubric responses. So let's look at this one here, Dwayne Johnson. He's in my class, he's in my earth science class. Great Kim Go scored one, two, three A and three B. Ada, artificial intelligence, scored his answer of 61 incorrectly because the answer was 56. The right answer here should have been barren and he entered cold, so he got that answer wrong. Now keep in mind, this is our artificial intelligence graded that the teacher did not have to do that or spend that time grading. We did that heavy lift and handled that and processed that just like the teacher would. Now here on the responses that are extended, we captured his response as an image. I've placed this on a four part rubric and looking at his um, answer, I'm probably going to give him a two on that. He drew a picture of a penguin and there were nine things that he had to label on that penguin and he only labeled one, two, three, four, five, six. So he's going to get a six and on his uh, possible nine uh, points on that rubric. Now once I save this, and I'll need to repeat this uh, just for those two questions for every student, that'll give us a great comprehensive um, uh, report for all students. We've also rolled out in Great Cam Observational. I mentioned that earlier. Let's look at what those look like because it's really going to handle for the teacher the option of printing an entire roster and assigning the rubrics here across the top. What are the skills that we need to assess those students on? The teacher can choose up to 100 points in each column. And in this case, each of my columns were worth four points. So I listened to this uh, student present their science fair project, and I scored in each of those. And one scan, I'll be able to capture the grades and the scores for every student in my class on all six categories. Gray Cam is revolutionizing the way teachers grade in their classroom. And don't forget, we will always be able to transfer the grades to any electronic grade solving and uh, saving you even more time with your grading. That's what Great Cam's all about, is solving problems for teachers. Giving teachers back the time, giving back the data that they need to make actionable, great decisions about instruction for students. Come join us at Booth 1724 here at ISTE in Chicago, ISTE 2018.